It's time to take a look at stories making the headlines in Nigerian newspapers. I have with me in the studio lecturer from the University of Lagos, Dr. Dan Ekere, and in-house analyst, Obani Akinwale. Good morning, gentlemen. Good morning. Thank you for Thank joining you. us on TVC Breakfast. Thank you. All right, we head straight to the papers now, and I begin with the news direct. Amoteko, not a threat to national security. Tinubu advocates dialogue. And to the front page of the Daily Trust, Lassa fever death toll rises, spreads to Enugu, Delta, Bochi, others, hundreds on watch list. On the front page of the Daily Times, uh, insecurity, not central governors, strategize on community policing, resolve to provide Im improved capacity for security agencies in their states. And finally, on the front page of the blueprint, uh, Tinubu breaks a silence. Uh, my grouse with Amotekon says the AGF statement uh, inaccurate, hasty, lists the benefit of security initiative, my second term bid in the hands of God. Uh, Akiri Dulu speaking there. Amotekon has come to stay. All right, gentlemen, we'll be looking at the story, uh, talking about... Uh, the elder statesman's reaction to Amoteko. A lot of persons have been waiting to hear uh, his position uh, on this. And after he made his statements clear, a lot of reactions have also trilled his position as well. But I'll start with you, Obani Akimuli. What do you make of uh, Atinubu's uh, reaction or, or statement to this? Uh, if you carefully analyze his speech, uh, there, is a part, there is a portion of the speech that actually catch my interest. It was where he was saying that if he's the political leader as he's being called, mm. then people should allow him not to hastily jump into the bad wagon of the Amoteku is good or not. But just being as the political leader as he say he is, uh, you could see from his statement that it is, he is neither here nor there. And sincerely yours, a uh, few weeks ago, a few days ago, we've been trying to exhume why the brouhaha of Amotekun between the federal government and the state government. Then you now begin to become, to be careful when you hear utterances like uh, the governor of Ondo State saying that if Amotekun will make him lose his uh, return ticket, he's ready to lose it. Then that means there is more to meet the highs that we don't see. But analyzing Ashwaju's comment about Amoteku, what he has just done is what naturally we expect our elder statesmen to do in this country. Mm -hmm. Don't heat up the polity. Of but course. being that as may again, uh, you find out that the Nigerian system is so uh, orchestrated in such a way that one week won't trouble. You recall that before Amoteku takes the, the, the play, the full pages of newspaper, it was Imo, it was Supreme Court judges. Now they have diverted us away from all those uh, noise. Now it's Amoteko. You can be sure by next week <laughs> it will be last time. <laughs> but then, is it, didn't he make his stance clear? Even though it didn't really come out to, to say this is where he stands. But when you look critically at his statement, he talked about uh, uh, the aspect of the fact that a regional approach may undermine the efficiency of uh, Amoteko. Isn't that making his stance clear? Well, if you look at it carefully, wherever his stance is shown, W you can't call it neutral. Is it that is a central position or his? I mean, but but generally, let's look at the issue of uh, Moteko. I, I I truly do not see how it threatens or weakens national not security true. or central. World. Which shows that this, in fact, the mere fact that we could even have suspicion about it shows that all is not well with Nigeria. Yeah. And uh, I I I do not think that uh, the police has done enough. Because if they have actually done enough, there wouldn't have been need for. And the federal even government is the one in charge of, you know, the, the police. Even the North Central governors, I think enough. Are already strategizing to mm. do something like that. That tells you that, look, w what we have at the moment cannot actually take care of us. So we need to have alternative arrangements. And that is what these people are just trying to help their own states to ensure that people, the, the rate at which people are kidnapped, killed, and, you know, terrorized, is reduced to the barest minimum. I was actually thinking that uh, if anything, the federal government should have not only given them the support in terms of morale, they should have as well given them financial support because this, this thing is good to actually, you know, uh, gop money. Now, you are aiding the police to do their job. You are trying to ease the job well, for them. So look at it yeah. is said that uh, the security uh, is the sole preserve 
of uh, the government, no, no, but no, then no, 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 the no, chief no, security no, no, officer no, no, no. of each state, yes. the governors are the chief security of these so states, you, and you, so they you, are trying to you can't protect have, the state. You states. can't have security as an exclusive preserve of the national, and yet the governor is chief the chief security. security. So, so that is where that, the concerns are. So, so but, but generally, you see, we are not meant for the constitution. The constitution is not me it's meant for, for us. us. So we must find a way around this. The important thing is that lives have to be protected. Properties have to be protected. And so far from what we have, we've not been able to do that. At least the federal government want to test its might or to whether the police is doing well or not. Why all this every day, today, complain about attacks here and there? If, if the security agencies are actually up and doing, they might be up and doing, but they don't have what it takes in terms of personnel and perhaps equipment to actually curtail the system. All that there is something that's underneath. But with respect to our motorcycle, I, I, I think every other part of this country should begin to work in line with that because over the years there have been Having agitation. A regional for approach. Whether you call it regional or state, whichever approach you have, find a way of protecting your people. Mm. That is the critical thing there. So it doesn't matter whether it is called regional, whether it is called state. The bottom line is that it has come to state that Nigerians need state policing or community policing, whichever name you call it. Policing has to be very close to the people. It has to be something that those around the vicinity who know the terrain very well are involved in. And as a matter of fact, I do not see how, you know, one sabo from uh, 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 Bono, we know the forest in my village. So you, you, yeah, so you but, need but, the involvement of the... But the issue, yes. again, is the fact that some persons have said that will this really... Yeah. Having a motorcycle tackle the issues surely, surely, of security. Surely, surely it will. If you look at every community in even outside mm. Lagos or outside the way it were, you have what we call community development associations. Mm. And every CDA tries as much as possible to have security guards. So what you try to do, why do we try to have security guards at night? So that we can ensure that our community is properly secured. Not minding that most areas have divisional police offices and also police around. So Amoteku has come, like, look at the message he said is that the Amoteku project is a very laudable project. Absolutely. There is no doubt that it's going to enhance the security of the country. Mm. But the question is this, I'm asking myself, at the moment we have the governor's pioneering Amoteku, what happened to the, the speakers of House of Assemblies in the Southwest? Mm. What happens to the honorable members of the House of Representatives in the Southwest? What happened to the, uh, to the speaker of the Federal House of Representatives who happens to be from the Southwest? What happened to the deputy chief uh, senate uh, whip, which happens to be from the southwest? What happened to the other parliamentarians at the National Assembly, which happens to be from the southwest? Why are the sons in the, uh, the government of President Buhari are not coming out to say whether they are supporting or the not. southwest initiative or not? Mm. Then again, you ask this question again. Why is it that it's only Akere Dolu, Fayemi, and the Oyo governor that is shouting Amotekun? What happened to Governor Sanwolu? What happened to Governor Abiodun? What happened to Governor Yutola? So it tells you all that of them came there together, is, pulled resources together. They, they pulled resources together, but the question now is that who recruited who? Mm. The question is because that's what we were saying that it's a very good framework, but we need to get it right. I'm looking at the message and not the messenger. The question is this: What is the requirement uh, recruitment procedure for Amotekun? Those are the questions he's asking. The question is this, what is the command structure of Amotekun? We don't know it now. The question is this, how do you ensure that what we are complaining of at the moment, that a Gafaru from Sokoto is not coming? For example, if the security architecture of Leki, like he mentioned in the speech, yes. is different from what is in Ekwe. So if you now have Chief Amotekun uh, Zona Officer, happens to be from Ibejuleki, and that and is what he says so, could so undermine. Is that we need to ensure the, the, this, that the, the efficiency have a of good this. Idea. Yeah. Malami, we know that Malami sometimes play overboard. There is no doubt about it. And he yeah. said Malami should have called them rather than just sitting up the polity. Absolutely. So the message is obvious that we need it. Ashwaju said we need it. Yes. But what Ashwaju is saying is that the two gladiators are supposed to be whipped. Mm. If you said you have seen the president about Fomi Amoteku and, and the, the AGF who works under the presidency come out to say they were not briefed. And you are now saying you are going back to see the president no, see. to discuss. So something there's a disconnect, but we cannot take away the fact and that. And he has called, said that there yeah. should be a roundtable discussion. Exactly. So what we what 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 we want to hear is that Amadeo has not said Amadeo should be cancelled. No, absolutely. But, but what we are that. saying is that the federal government needs to tread with caution, and the state governors needs to do what, like what he said. He said when he formed neighborhood security watch mm -hmm. in Lagos that 
I'm not talking small like that. So let us take government. It doesn't take one year to pass executive bill. When they sure. bring budget in October, budget was passed in December. Some states in November, they have already signed the budget. Present the executive bill to your House of Assemblies and said, we want to institutionalize these things. Then at the end of the day, you can go to Don and set all head of Amoteku in each state, right. form a Congress, and you now have a chief, Amok like they have Amkere Dolu, right. he doesn't govern Lagos State, mm -hmm. yet he's a regional head of governor's forum. Mm -hmm. So we can have that system in place. And that's exactly what the man is saying. Let's leave the politics and whatever, but let's look at the salient statements Issues the man is making. He's yeah. raising. Exactly. Uh, very important. Exactly. And uh, calling for a roundtable discussion, mm. we can only hope that uh, the that will resolve must, every The government issue. must always recognize mm. that it is the life of the citizens and their properties. That's very yes. that is the main issue. Very important. Right. Not about how much, you know, you, We have you to leave it at this point. Yes, it's Thank critical. you for your Let contribution. Gentlemen, to the issues uh, we have looked at uh, this morning. Thank you for your time. Let's take a look at stories making the headlines in Nigerian newspapers this morning. I have with me in the studio a public affairs analyst, Ayodele Adieu, and global affairs analyst, Chuks Woko. Thank you very much, gentlemen. Thank you. Thank you. So we have um, several newspapers here. Let's uh, start with the News Direct. Amoteko not a threat to national security, says uh, Tinumbu, advocates dialogue. The Daily Trust says Lassa fever death toll rises, spreads to Inugu, Delta, Bauchi, others. Hundreds on watch list. The Daily Times is saying insecurity, uh, North Central governors strategize and community policing resolve to Im uh, provide I improved capacity for security agencies in their states. The Blueprint says Tinumbu breaks silence, Mike Grouse with Amotaku. Uh, it says, AGF, AGF statement inaccurate, hasty, list benefits of security initiative. My second term bid in the hands of God, says Akiru Dulu, uh, Amoteko has come to stay. The nation says, Tunumbu, Amoteko not a threat to national security. That's the big header in the nation newspaper this morning. This day, says, federal government warns Nigerians as novel coronavirus spreads beyond China, urges calm issues travel advisory. The Vanguard says here, uh, Amotekun, Afeni Ferry, uh, Arewa Youths, Oyetola, others back to Numbu. The writer says, we agree with him. That's according to Afeni Ferry. His comments ambiguous, says Ayo Adibanjo. Amotekun will serve all ethnic groups as DG Dawn Commission. North should get its own Amotekun, says Arewa Youth Leader Shatima. Kidnapping, armed banditry, respect, no religion. Oyetola tells Oshun residents. So we'll stick with the story in the Nation newspaper this morning. It's <coughs> talking about the Amoteko story. Uh, Tinumbu, Amoteko not a threat to national unity. The way forward to is dialogue between federal government state and state governors. Dawn says it's not Yoruba police. Don't politicize outfit, says Oyetola uh, Okunu. Uh, WNSN answer to insecurity. It's a vote against uh, Buhari's approach to security, says PDP. Attorney General to meet on outfits. Uh, gentlemen, this has elicited diverse reactions. So let's look at it now. What's your take? It's not a threat to national unity, says the uh, national leader of the APC. Let's hear you. Absolutely. It's, it's not a threat um, to national security. In fact, it is a baby of necessity. The reality is that um, Nigeria is plagued with insecurity, whether it's the north, west, um, south, or east. In mm. fact, security has even um, eating into most of our villages across the country. Communities can't even um, eating into most of our villages across the country. Communities can't protect themselves. Um, villages are being sacked by bandits. Women are raped in farmlands and people are killed mercilessly. And uh, very few villages in this country are properly policed. So what you have in essence is that um, a group of governors out of necessity mm. have put together a security outfit um, that will better protect their people. And like um, uh, um, the former governor of Lagos State, you know, have said, it, it calls for absolutely no alarm. What needs to happen, um, in fact, is that the federal government has to play big brother here and see how it can synergize with these state governors, um, you know, to, to smoothing the entire process and make sure that every loose end um, is being tied up. And, and there's absolutely no need for bickering here because mm -hmm. the reality is um, the, the man in the village who is being attacked every single day doesn't have the luxury of pontification. Um, the man who is killed on his farmland or those who are kidnapped 
on the highways do not have the luxury of pontification. Right. They want to be secured. They want uh, uh, um, protection. And the reality is the national security architecture is failing us. The police do not have the manpower. Mm. They do not have the resources to effectively police the entire country. So the conversation we should be having is how to complement the effort of the police. And that is what the governors are doing in the Southwest. And I think it's a step in the right direction. All that needs to be done is to find a middle ground between the federal government and the states, uh, the states governors who are involved to see how this, these issues can uh, right. be properly managed. All right, Chooks, now, it's not an, a, a threat, but why do we have diverse reactions, opposing reactions to this uh, motorcycle? I don't know why we have opposing t uh, opposing uh, reaction, uh, but I, again, maybe I should uh, reduce to ignorance or this um, desire to constantly uh, say want to be heard mm. or oppose everything, no matter what you say. Uh, in fact, you know we live in a mob world these days. Mm. Uh, governments are being mobbed. Anything that you do, if you are not authority, you are being mobbed, whether it's right or wrong. But we should uh, outgrow those uh, sentiments. Uh, this is a concept. This is an idea whose time has come. Um, it's not perfect. I, I, I believe that nothing is perfect. You cannot just um, bet an idea and, and you bet in a perfect state. So what needs to do happen is that you need to work it backwards or work it forward yeah. and, and, and make sure that you tie all, it, all the loose ends. And then tell all these people who are just, you know, who like to, 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 to talk, to minimize. If you don't understand what the concept is all about, you just, just be quiet. And, and, and if you want to know more, approach these people who have this idea. Because this is really what the Southwest has always done from, from the days of uh, UPN, the days of Awolo and all that. They always have stuff going for them. And I think that this one is one of those things. They should harmonize this, work it out, seek for ideas, all those loose ends, tie it up. If they need to do trainings, they, if they need to, um, you know, Whatever it is that they need to do, if they need to deploy a technology, whatever it is that they need to do, have all, they have always gotten it right. Yeah. What okay. they need to okay. do is constantly meet, you know, strategize, mm. and seek for, for, for greater ideas. But like, like Adio said, we've lost so many of our people. You know, the strength of every nation is predicated on, on the strength of its youth population. We've lost a lot of our, our youth. Uh, I was here some time ago, and, and I watched your news item. A newspaper vendor in some locality in Ekiti State, was kidnapped, yeah. and it was compared to pay, pay a ransom. <laughs> we can't continue to, to, to live like this. We need whatever it is that we need to protect our lives. And by the way, if you go around Lagos, go to Lekki, go to Aja, you see estates with security. security we, yeah. we, are, we provide security for ourselves where we live, in almost all, every mm -hmm. estate around here. Eh? The difference is that we don't carry gun. We don't really need to carry gun. Let's help ourselves. All right. the, state, the, state, the federal uh, might has been overburdened. Let's States work together. Work together and, and create something for, for ourselves and protect ourselves. And by the way, you know, you know the population in, in Lagos and in the Southwest. Mm -hmm. People from everywhere in the world who reside mm -hmm. here in the Southwest. We need to protect ourselves. All right, Adeli, you, you mentioned that there should be a middle ground between the federal government and the state governments. How do we get to that point? I mean, it's, it's, you just have to continue the conversation. I, I, you see, there's no point being arrogant here. Mm. Uh, both sides must admit the reality. First, the federal government must admit the fact that you can't, you can't police, you can't, you can't police burning KB from Abuja. You can't, you can't police uh, Igbomino from Abuja. You, you can't police Megatari from Abuja. It's, 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 it's impossible to happen. And I give you a typical example. When you had crisis in Ikorodu mm -hmm. here in Lagos, the Bado crisis, where people were being killed in their house houses every morning and people were murdered indiscriminately. The Nigerian police could not solve the problem until they got local vigilantes in Lagos to help them deal with the problem. And in less than three months, they had snuffed uh, 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 yeah, the, the so-called uh, Bado boys out. So the reality is you need local policing to deal with insecurity um, in the country. Mm. And I say this because the president, for instance, is, is, is a way in, in the conference in the United Kingdom to bring in investments into Nigeria. My dear brother, there is no country that will invest in a place where the highway, the major highway to the nation's capital is a den of kidnappers and thieves. When you cannot travel from Kaduna to Abuja on road and you end up being kidnapped, you end up, being, you end up paying rent, nobody's going to invest in that kind of country. So what we need to look at is the larger picture 
to ask ourselves the fundamental question. First of all, the, the elders who are, uh, uh, who, are, who are shouting is to ask what kind of country do you want to bequeath mm. to our children? Okay. A country of insecurity? Absolutely all right, not. All right. So all don't right. sit down in your gated estates in Ikeja and Victoria Island and pontificate when the people at the villages are dying. And what you need to do and what we need to do as media people is to also take the microphone to villages in Zamfara, to, hear, to hear villages in Katena, there. to villages in, in, in Ondo, to villages in Oshun, and speak to the people right. who feel the brunt of insecurity yeah. every day, not people who live in gated estates in Ikoyi and Vi, and then they pontificate. All right. Thank you very much, gentlemen, for talking to us on this issue. Thank you.